Hey gang gang, Sephra back again with another Blanco's video, this time focusing on the team gameplay aspect, how to find teams, what to do when you're in a team, and where to start. So let's jump in and take a look. So we've got our friends list here. So straight up, we've got everybody that we can, we've we added here. You can see if you type in a name, you can just find anyone if you're looking for them to add them to that friends list. Here you can see all the requests of people waiting to accept. You can see you can add friends again on this screen. In here you can see the current group that you're in. So this is the players that are currently playing with you. On this tab is the recently met. This one has all of the players that you played with recently. So if there's someone who's good and you want them to carry you some more. All right, so we're back on the main menu here. And if you don't want to go up to the top and click that little speech bubble up the top to go to the friends menu, there is another button down here for select mode just above the build button. If you were to click that button and go in, you can see another menu. This one has the events that will show you the times and dates that they're running and what you have to do to win those events. Um, if you got a join code, that's an all, uh, the other all important part where you can put in the player's code so you can play with them. Then there's the junction. We'll show you a little bit of that later, but basically you can run around the open world and meet people in the open world. And then there's the build mode. Now the build mode's a little different than the rest of the game. You're not going to be running around and playing per se, but you're actually going to be building your own map. So maybe for a bit more for the creative people among us um, who want to show off maybe to their friends or test out their own world but if you go in and you click on this screen you can see that you can name whatever your map to uh, want it to be called if you click OK and go through you can click to enter and when you go in you'll actually get to create things so you'll have options to go around kind of like Super Mario Maker build a map publish it and show it to your friends to play with get suggestions for alterations so as you can see i'm running around it's a blank canvas i've got a bit of an area to play with over there that's already built up but the entire starting area is completely blank just a place for me to stand on so in here are the options you can see publish and the clone and the new um, or the edit options you can also delete it um, but if you go back in um, you'll be able to actually go into the settings once you're in the settings you can see yet again the name some of the settings in there like timers guns what sort of play mode it is if it's free for all a race if you want to go in and try and make it a shooting style gameplay if i was to click on race here or shooting you'll see that there's different options within there if i was to go through race you can see that i can pick time time trial or cooldown and alter those settings again they also have guns i've chosen to put guns off so it's just purely race this one's obviously for your respawn time so if you want it to be shorter or longer you can do that knockout type um, respawn obviously you can go through there the ammo doesn't matter so much the vibe reset not so much at the moment because it's just a rate the vibe generation intervals and delays that comes into play where it's how quickly they spawn and how quickly they regenerate after someone picks them up so if it's a race where you're going around on a track you might want it to be in a different time interval compared to somewhere where if you're just running start to finish then you can start with jackpot everybody loves to fly around so why not and allowing damage and things from other blind cars. now the leaderboard's not in yet but it obviously is coming soon like you can see here are some attachments you can add in too so obviously i've got a jetpack so i'll allow flight uh, guns don't really matter so i'll leave it in and in here you can see that there's a soundtrack so this is what's going to be playing in the background while people are running around your track once we go back in you can see that it's already got a starting gate put down for me so i know where to begin building and if i go into float mode you'll see the grid below me where i can place all the things so where it'll be the next gate on the track where there'll be a bunch of vibes you can see here in the interactions menu there's a bunch of things i can choose from so you know things like structures or lighting to make things brighter in certain areas some shapes some gates some shields and some objects to put around the map for people to look at or run around uh, while they're going through if you go into the quick menu this is like a quick access version of that with more options same amount of things that you can build but more options in the quick access menu like you can see me scroll through now um, but if you know something that you want to build and say you wanted to look at lighting or you wanted to look at 
you know objects you can just scroll through the wheel go straight to the thing that you want and put it down so for instance if i grab this cannon i can chuck it on the ground you can see how it's got a grid around it and it's kind of snapping to that and if i put it up or down you can kind of see that grid in the background but if i place it on the ground there i place it on the ground there oh, i'm not actually placing them but yeah if you can play around in here you can make your own sort of maps then you can run around and test them um, then you can show them off to people and you can actually publish it and it could become part of the rotation that people play um, so you don't need to share it all the time people will actually just be able to find your match go in and have some fun playing it which is pretty cool Alrighty, so this is the junction. This is where you spawn in. This used to be part of the tutorial. I don't know if it still is because I did the tutorial quite a while ago before all of the updates. But basically, this is where you used to come before there was a menu. You'd meet all of your friends. You'd meet all of the people who are just playing in the open world. Um, and you jump into one of these two portals in front of you and it would take you in to those games that you get to play um, and earn credits. You used to be able to buy things from these people here and in interact with them rather than go through the menu um, now it's more optional so you can come in here run around like I said see if you can meet anyone in the open world right now during my Australian hours it's a bit quiet so I'm not sure if I will see anyone but I'm coming in anyway to show it off because I really like the amount of effort they've put in um, to make it an enjoyable place to be oh look there is someone I um, wonder what he's doing up this time I think he's quite high too he's just dropping things on the ground ready to go Oh, master of camouflage he's gone oh, well, i'll catch the uh, um, collect these little energy things so you can complete um tasks in here those daily challenges some of them can be to go into the junction and actually collect these little energy bolts so you just run around you can collect them um, it's an easy way to score some of those points on that monthly uh, scoreboard that they've got going on but like i said this used to actually be part of the intro i don't know if it still is like i said but you used to have to come around here and actually interact with people who are in all of these areas. It's how you got your jetpack. Um, it's how you learned to do everything. Um, it was actually the first place you came. Um, you can still uh, interact with everyone and stuff like that. But it's a more fun way, I guess, of using the menu. Most of the time, you'll probably just end up using that menu since it's a lot quicker. Here are the portals, like I said. You can jump in there if you want. Or if you're grouped up in this area, you can jump in and start a game together. Um, if we run up to the um, if you run up to the back here, you'll be able to see where you can interact with and change your blancos. You can see it's loaded up the blanco that I've currently got equipped. If I click the hold to customize and come in, you'll see the gumballs that I have just sitting lying around. If I was to click that, it would change the color of my blanco. So that's how you get it to be a bit more unique. It would be the same blanco, it would just look different than someone else's. Might give you that edge when selling it. Um, if you see here, I can come in and click a Blanco, add him in, smash them together. Um, I could even add in a gumball. Um, that would change them, maybe make it more unique. Maybe it would make it, like I said, a higher value for someone to want to buy. But yeah, there's heaps of areas to explore. There's heaps of little zones that you can run around. Um, some of those tasks are, because they're so easy, you know, collect maybe 150 or something of those little energy bolts so you know run around explore there's a lot of things to look at like i said you can also bump into people normally there's a lot more people but like i said during my australian hours it's a bit quieter at the moment so this is the blanco's discord not only is it a great source of information but it's a great place to find people to play with say to everyone that it's a great idea to jump in and join the discords of the projects that you're involved in because obviously there's pages like those official links where you can get tricked into downloading something that's not right you have these announcements which give you notifications on all of the updates and things going on so like you can see there was an update recently and they just came back up it's good to know things like that if you jump into the general chat you'll have people talking just about the general game status you can talk directly to the games here, uh, devs here if you have any suggestions or if there's any issues that you found with the game. If you jump into the looking to play, you'll be able to find those uh, join codes that we were talking about before. So you see there's a lot of people posting. There's one there. Um, there's another one just there. Like you can see, you can come in here, post your friend code, see if you can get people to come in and join your group. You can join someone else's group 
meet some new friends along the way possibly but either way if you're stuck looking for people and you really want someone to come play with you can jump in this discord maybe have a private call or maybe just group up together and play together so you're not playing solo if you go down into community events you'll see all the community events that are going on how people are doing and maybe some tips on how to do better if you go to the mix and mashups You'll see the people who have smashed their blankers together, what blankers they've got coming out um, with gumballs or if they're unique or what they've managed to get with certain things so that you can have an idea if you're going to do the same thing. If you go into build chat, this is where you'll get a whole bunch of hints and tips or ideas or you can post screenshots from that map builder that we just looked at before. People can tell you maybe some improvements that you might not have thought of. You might be able to help someone out uh, with theirs. If you go into market chat, you'll see people talk about the general chatting of the market state what they are selling for what they think things should be selling for in the market listings obviously is where everybody's going to sit and post listings for other people to come and buy if they want to um, if we click on some of these listings you'll see some blankers going for as little as three dollars and that guy has a few for twenty dollars as well um, if you go further down, there's some here for $39, $59. Further down again, have a look here. Some more around the $40 mark, just below $40. But like you can see, the price does vary a lot. So it can go from a small amount for some of the blancos that you get basically for just playing your way through um, the scorecard each month or for a higher amount for those rare blancos that you smash together. Um, but make sure you come in, jump in, go to that little menu up that I just showed and invite all of your friends. All right, everyone. So just back in the junction again before we sign off, looking for some people that I can team up with after the video. It's a good time and as I think everybody's starting to get on. So there's more people showing up in the junction. Um, but hopefully you've liked this Blanco's video. Like I said in the last one, it is a really fun game. We are really enjoying it at the moment, especially after a long day of clicking. It's really great to wind down to, be able to rub it in some of your friends' faces that you're better than them at some of the games. But yeah, we highly recommend it. If you haven't checked it out yet, go check it out. Oh look, he's coming to join me just as I say goodbye. But don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.